Okay, people, guess what? You hear that? We have a brand new presenting sponsor, and it's one of my favorites of all time, For Loco. Oh. We are now introducing Only Stands For Loco partnership, and we are piping up this beautiful jungle juice. Look at that design on this thing. We got the orange, we got the black, we got the beautiful lettering. I'm a guy that loves the design, and if I, as soon as I walk into the store to purchase a Four Loco, I'm gonna go straight to the jungle juice. This jungle juice is obviously the new king of the jungle. I think you could agree with that, Veronica. Look at this can, it's a beautiful can. It's for the real party animals out there. I mm -hmm. think we haven't partied yet, but I think mm -hmm. you could tell I'd probably be a good guy to party with. You're perfect. Four local creates epic stories. Everybody knows that. And you're from Slovakia. I don't think you have them there yet. I can't tell you the legend that is Four Loco. When you think of Four Loco, you think of party, you think of fun. It's the stuff of legend. And the fact that they're now a sponsor of mine truly brings a tear to my eyes. So cheers to that. You can find Four Loco near you at fourloco.com and follow Four Loco on Instagram at Four Loco. Once again, Veronica, thank you for being my first Four Loco episode. Cheers to that. Let's give a quick Four Loco Jungle Juice review because I'm excited about it. That is so good. That is 13.9% alcohol. Mm. That'll get you at a taste. Damn good, Veronica. Okay, folks, got another episode of Only Stands today. We have... Dre Delavine. Yes. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you did. Did you get it inspired by Cara? Maybe. Yeah. Are you a big <laughs> Cara Delavine fan? Uh, I liked the last name and I felt like I couldn't think of anything else that like went good with like Dre. I wanted like a little matching with the D. Ooh, so, so confirmed it's not your real name. It's not. The last name's not. But Dre is your real first name. Or yeah. Andrea? Uh, Deirdre. Deirdre. I know. Whoa. But I just used Dre. Whoa. Okay. Dre, like doctor. Yes, like that's what I say. <laughs> How could you not? That makes it easy. Um, first question I ask every guest in the show, where are you from? Nice and simple. I grew up about 20 minutes actually outside of the city. So okay. um, in the suburbs there in Westchester. In Westchester. Yeah. Okay. I grew up on Long Island. So oh, nice. Same thing. We're just two suburban kids. Exactly. Except you got to grow up on continental United States and I didn't. Well, you have the fun stuff. You have the Hamptons and Montauk. Never been. We'll go soon. I don't want to go. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me at all. But uh, yeah, no, it, this is interesting. I never really realized that I didn't grow up in continental United States. It's kind, of, it's kind of an odd thought. I'm I'm an island man. I live 15 minutes from the beach. Weird things. Anyway, you live in Manhattan now? Yes, I do. I moved here in January. Wow. Was that, was that like your big city dream kind of growing up? Always being like, oh, I want to be like, I'm in Friends, move to the city, hang out, <laughs> all that jazz. I was living in LA for the last like year and a half and I just got like kind of like tired of it. I just was like, I miss New York. It's like, I was from the East coast and I just like missed it. And uh, I don't know, something's different. It's more fun over here. You so. like You're out in LA? I liked it in LA, but I kind of just like wanted like a break. So I'll, I'll, I still go out to shoot, but I, I just have to be here. It's more fun. So were you doing the um, pornography in LA? Yeah, I'm a porn star. So you would, I know you're, I know you're a porn star, but I'm saying, <laughs> I feel like I, just saw your name recently. I got to know you were there for a year and a half. So you were like trying to grind out there and make it as a porn star? I did. Um, I've done a, a few um, films when I was out there. And then I did more focus on my OnlyFans. But I was living in a porn house and everything. I have like an agent and stuff. And uh, I kind of just did more of like a, I was being a little uh, selective with my shoots. They got porn houses? Yes, it's so fun. Can you give me de detailed life in a porn house for me. <sighs> so I was um, one of the girls that lived there full time. And then there was three other bedrooms. I lived with my agent platonically. And um, the, there'd be girls that come into town to shoot. And every every day I'd like, a, it was like a frat house, but with porn stars. So a sorority. So you were living in a porn sorority effectively. Exactly. Like the modern Playboy Mansion. We had a pool, basketball court, like a little mini golf. And we would just like, you know, take pics, film together. And um yeah, just have like fun. <laughs> and that's day to day. Yeah, it really and is. And was your agent a dude? Yeah. So he's just living in this porn house with his. Yeah, and I was his assistant as well. So queens? I liked okay. helping him. I was like, I was like the hot assistant. Uh, that, <laughs> fun. That, sounds, that sounds interesting. I've never heard of a porn house. I've heard of a sorority house, heard of a frat house, heard of a content house. Yeah. I've never heard of a pornography house. It's basically like that. It just gives the girls like a safe place just to like stay and stuff yeah. while they film. And I had a blast. Sounds so it's a content house, but they're naked instead. Exactly. Sounds nice. <laughs> Um, okay, so then you move back to New York, and now I feel like you're kind of popping off in the porn world. Yes, because I still shoot, so I go down to Miami. I was in Miami last month and in L.A., and I've been doing more work. What do, you, what do you prefer? Do a pornography shoot or an OnlyFans shoot? I love porn, but I also do it for my OnlyFans as well, obviously. I do, like, uh, 
con- like content trades, but I just love porn. Like I love like an audience, if that makes any sense. Ooh, so you're saying you like seeing the the whole crew there? Yeah, I'm an exhibitionist, so I definitely love a crowd. Like I love like the sound guy, like having to get close to me when I'm bent over. It's really yeah, fun. That's classic. <laughs> Who doesn't yes, love that? I know, and I'm like, or like the guy, I'm like, am I looking good like this? And it's just like it's just a blast. Oh man, I feel like a lot of people would enjoy the OnlyFans world more than the porn world. But you're kind of vintage, you're old school. Yeah, I did everything opposite. I did OnlyFans first for about six months, and I got recruit like um uh, someone like just reached out and was like i think you might like this and i was so like kind of bored alone in my room i was like i want co-workers again <laughs> that's a very very special way to get co-workers yeah i loved it <laughs> so um how, what, where, how much crew are we talking on a porn set we, we got like a sound guy a director catering oh yeah they bring food there's about like 10 to 12 people there i would say i get hair and makeup there's always like someone there that's like um like helping with the, like with, with me like if i need like anything that's like but like female related before the shoot. And then uh, there's a bunch of like cleanup, like people helping like that yeah. as we go. Are there fluffers? Is that a thing? <laughs> no, but that, I, I sometimes like thing. volunteer to help them. Do you actually? Need. Of course. You're a real fluffer? No, like, honestly, like I, if, if a fluffer was a job, I would honestly do that as well. Like, wow, just, it's like, like a two one for one. Kind yeah. Of. And sometimes they're like, no, don't ruin your makeup. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I so, you. so then how does the fluffing process happen if you're the porn star as well? So basically, um, when you, I, get, I go there, I get my hair and my makeup done. And before we actually shoot like the actual scene, we do stills, it's called. And the stills are the photos that you see like on Twitter, for example. But um, we do that all before. Like... Yeah, exactly. So when I, whenever I meet the male talent, they're already hard. Mm-hmm. Um, they either take um, something or they, I don't know what happens in the bathroom before maybe. But then, um, yeah, so they're actually already hard. And usually it's, I don't have to do anything, unfortunately, all the time. And then if they're not, then that's I, when the fluffing would come. That's out. when the work comes in. Interesting. That's that's a fun little tidbit. Yeah, exactly. No one realizes that. Every, well, everyone thinks those pictures are like taken as we go, but it's kind of like uh, like a play by play. It shows us like it helps us like get like warmed up in a way, yeah. and like so we know how to do the filming. It's it's honestly really fun. <laughs> the more you know. Exactly. <laughs> um. Ooh, I just had a good question. Okay, so for one of the shows I do Sunday conversation, we always have to pick different locations and like some different areas to shoot. Do you know how one finds a, a shoot location for a porn? Uh, Airbnb is a popular one. So that's a real thing. They, they, mm-hmm. They're shooting porns at Airbnbs? Yeah, totally. Even like I do it like for content. Because we, we, we do Sundays at Airbnbs, but they, they do it, porn at Airbnbs? No, you don't even know what happens when they do Saturday there. Do the owners know? Is that a uh, thing? Do you know? Well, sometimes you have to make sure there's like no cameras and stuff. Like so, like some, especially like in LA, it'll say like a like no um explicit content can be taken. So you have to be a little careful. But a lot of the time, it's like, it is what it is. That's gonna change my thoughts on Airbnbs. I know. I'm staying in one tomorrow. <laughs> um, you gotta. You might go, edit go, in Miami. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Something probably definitely happened. Now, now, are you are you saying the odds chances are high of something definitely Absolutely. happening in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of unsettling it's kind of, it's kind of hot I, I don't mind it because like I've, I've said this before on the show let's call a spade a spade how many mm. people have fucked in hotel beds you sleep in i know i always think about that but there's just something more formal about the hotel over the airbnb oh yeah you know, you know like they're probably just doing it in the bed hopefully like <laughs> there's there's and more if, i think like if it's porn there's a lot of fluids oh to- oh totally <laughs> but i mean we, we've talked about that like i would like to know how many people have had sex in each bed in a, in a hotel room. I've tried to do the math before. Oh, I, I think it's got to be like thousands. Oh, of course. Thousands. Of course. Uh, that's an unsettling thought, but whatever. I, wanna, I don't sit in actually hotel chairs anymore because I'm just like, I, I don't know. What, I'm more scared of the chairs. You don't want to sit in the cuck chairs? Oh, well, uh, honestly, I'm low-key a cuck, but like, I just Ooh. feel like I am. Ooh, fill, new... fill me in. I am such a cuck and I never, ever thought I'd say that, but I love it. So when you're saying cuck, you're saying you want to see uh, um, maybe a fella Mm-hmm. romance another queen while you're watching yeah i love it i like to like i think it's because like i do porn and only fans that like i'm always like maybe like the girl i'm always doing all the work mm-hmm. and sometimes i just like to like i feel like a little director oh <laughs> calling them out scorsese-esque yeah. yeah and i love like motivating people so i feel like i do that so honestly like yeah i'm a cuck lately what would but be I an example of motivation but you're participating as well, so you're hopping in, hopping out. Yeah, I'm a team player for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you hit the bench, coach. Maybe I'm like a fluffer in the beginning, and yeah. then like <laughs> I get the team in. But uh, basically, like I guess um, recently I did one with like my friend, and like there's like a f- uh, two other girlfriends there, and um, hell yeah. I kind of just was like, you know what, like why don't we? I, in my head, I'm like, why don't we all just like participate? Like we're it's like why like why just one? So I kind of was like to the girls, I was like, if I start sucking his dick, will you guys join me? 
and they were like, this is not like anyone that does porn or OnlyFans, so they were a little taken back. Ooh, that sounds nice. It's even hotter, right? Yeah, very much so. And then my respect to you. No, of course. And then my my um my best friend, he was just like, oh, <laughs> and yep. then he's like, if they're down on them, and then we we started, and it was it literally lasted sixteen hours. It was like that much fun, and ever since then, I'm like, I'm a cock. I sat in the hotel chair at one point. Sixteen hours. It was a lot of break, you know, on and off. Sixteen hours. On and off. When you have more girls, you can last longer. Okay, sixteen hours. Get let's. On it was trust me. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here with the sixteen hours because I'm not even debating that. No one's had sex for sixteen hours straight. On and off. No, what does that mean? You went to go get lunch. You went to go get into a restaurant. Went to take a walk. Come back. We we had to get snacks, and there and there was a there was like a there was like a hot tub in the uh in the hotel Ooh, room. That so that's nice. also like you know. What hotel was it? Um, hotel forty eight. <laughs> They got hotel. They got hot tubs in Hotel Forty Eight. Oh yeah, or it's like a big bathtub, but it felt like a hot tub. Yeah, yeah. It, no, trust me. Um, we had to like ex the. It started like at five a.m. and then we had to like extend the stay in the hotel room, <laughs> so we could <laughs> continue nice. it. Sounds nice. Um, hmm, what else did we talk about? So I know you just mentioned the cucking stuff. That's classic. And they got cuck chairs and point in hotel rooms now. <laughs> I recently had a very weird cuck chair in my hotel room. I was in. It was in Atlanta, and it was just literally pointed at the bed. Like, this is a little too. <laughs> a little too insinuous 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 insinuating That's yes what I'm looking for. they were kind of insinuating what you should be doing there but um so i know I'm, you said you were on only fans for a while i'm interested to ask i have to ask every guest this would you have any like subscriber requests that you've thought are the most odd things you've heard oh yeah i definitely get like very interesting things my favorite question I guess like the most like out like the most like left field one I ever got was like I had to like run on bananas like and like show my feet and then like they wanted me to like like kind of like lick it off my toes. Obviously, okay. I'm not that flexible. I can't put my foot mm -hmm. to my mouth just yet, <laughs> but I you know I, I maneuvered it and uh, so kind of like a mushy banana. Yeah, I guess because it like kind of looks like cum in a way. I, I honestly have never seen cum that looks mm. like mush banana exactly, but it was like you know that was like their fetish and. Uh, it sounds like it. some sort of a Mario Kart fantasy. Yeah. And like it's slipping on bananas, <laughs> stepping on bananas. Do you remember how much you got paid for it? 500. 500 for a couple of bananas. That's not bad. I, you know, it was like really funny. I was like, you know what? I love making fantasies come true. If yeah. he wants banana toes, I got you. And one of my favorite foods, too. Who does love a banana bread, a banana pudding? If you ever want it mushed up, you got, you got to call me. <laughs> you need a mushed up for a pudding. How do you think you're going to make it? <laughs> Great banana puddings out there in the world. Um, okay, that's a good one. That's one I haven't heard. I've heard some gross ones. That one's not gross. That's fun. Yeah. I'm really like, open-minded with the guys. Like, you know, like, I'm like, whatever they like, like, you know, I, I don't shame. Has there ever been one that you said, oh, this is too too much. I can't do it. Um, I'm not the best, like, squirter on command. Mm -hmm. So, like, those ones. I <laughs> I've only squirted about, like, three times. So, like, I just, like, say, like, I honestly can't do that. But, like. And also anal, like I'm working on that one. Oh, oh yes. you're not in that yet? Well, I wear like so I've been I've done anal like recently a few times, like I've been trying, but not on camera. I don't uh not like I wanna only have it on film when I'm like hundred percent certain like I can kill it. Very professional of you. Yeah, but I've been wearing a lot of butt plugs lately. I like to stretch myself out. Yeah, I recently noticed I heard you were at a bar with Joey and Joey said you wore a butt plug all night at the bar. Oh, I do that every time I go out. You just wear a butt plug every yeah, time you go Yeah, and honestly, like, it was, like, in my purse on the way here, I noticed it. Like, I was, like, because I wore it out the other night. Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, it's, like, my thing. It just, like. So you have one in right now? I can put it in, but, like. Oh, no, it, you don't have to. No, yeah. I it, thought I, you said on the way here. I was, like, it was, oh. No, I was getting lip gloss out of my bag, and I was, like, mm, the butt plug. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah, Joey said you were wearing one, so that sounds yeah, nice. Yeah, it had, like, a remote control. It was fun. What's the, what's the, what's the, like, did you just trying to get better, trying to program yourself better for it, so you're just wearing butt plugs out? yeah and i just feel like it's kind of like on brand i feel like in a way like i'll wear like a little mini dress and it's like my party trick i'm like oops oops sorry gang yeah and it has a strobe light too so like it's like fun like if i'm like shaking my ass when i'm out and i'm like ooh. <laughs> then everyone's lying that's dark in the club and then everyone's that's lit up that's 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 a fun game huh it's an easy way to find me yeah it's people lose people at bars exactly you can't lose me with that in it happens. <laughs> um, so what? So what are you in New York? Single dating? What, what, how's life? I'm definitely single. So Carrie um, Brad showing it up. <laughs> Honestly, part of the reason I came back to the East Coast was because I feel like the men like there's different like water on the East Coast because it's like a different breed of men and it I love them. You say water? What's up? You say water? Water. <laughs> what kind of a New York accent do you have? You're pronouncing water, water. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Uh, it's, I think it's like my lips. I say things weird because they're water. really big from like sucking dick. No. Are they though? Oh yeah, you don't think so? I mean, they're nice lips, but I don't, why does it come from sucking dick? It does. Like I noticed, like the next does day it after, grow better. 
it's it just like it's good lit it's good uh lit maintenance instead of having to go to the surgeon all the time that's fair <laughs> so so you're single nyc living this carrie bradshaw lifestyle take me through your average night out because you don't drink from what i found that's i do not drink on alcohol. twitter so you don't drink on you don't drink but you just go out you do other things or you just i uh, i microdose um and uh you know dabble a little bit but i have no i haven't drank alcohol in like six years Ooh, congrats yeah but um so yeah when i go out i uh i'm just like I just love it. So I usually go to like a uh, sucker punch or like common ground with mm -hmm. my friends. And uh, then we stay out till like four in the morning and like, you know, we go to afters and I find cute boys. That's fucking impressive to do that sober. Exactly. I just it's honestly love dancing and like, just like being around people. What's it like to microdose? I, oh, that, I love it. What, do you, what is the actual act of microdosing? It's a mushroom. So it's like shrooms. Mm -hmm. And basically um, it just like makes the music more fun and like, Especially if you go to like a place or a club, but there's like lots of cool lights. Like it's like um, it makes everything just Ooh, it enhances the experience. Sounds nice. And it gets me horny. Oh, they get horny on mushrooms. Yeah, I always. Do. I mean, I'm always horny, but I just notice it even more when I'm on shrooms. It's very naturally horny, I guess, coming oh, from the earth. Oh yeah, I'm very, very. And then shrooms too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Shrooms. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> totally. naturally horny. You're not need having to take any horny pills. Oh, I know. I wish I could, but no. Yeah, I'd like to try shrooms. I never have. That was my New Year's resolution. The year of COVID, and I just never got around to it. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, I haven't done it. I love it, definitely. Um, and I think it makes me dance a little better, too. So that's my What's excuse. your signature move? Shaking my ass. Just shaking your ass, a little grind. You a big grinder at the bar? Um, I don't like grind, but I kind of like, I'm a bopper. I wish I could strip because I love dancing so much, but I can't strip, be a stripper. Why so not? I, 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 What's holding you back? I'm not that coordinated. I can only bop. But I wish I, I wish I could. I wish I could. I respect that you're self-aware enough to know you can't be a stripper. Because I'm so sober that I know that I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah. I mean, stripping, <laughs> I feel like you got to, it's a whole art form. You got to be very good at persuading. You got to, so you're saying you're just bopping up and down in the actual position. You can't do like, not a grind that you need to do in a lap dance. I don't know. No. Yeah. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm humble. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so I have some tweets that you've tweeted recently. You have an interesting Twitter. Yeah. I will say this is my favorite portion of the episodes whenever I get to go through people's tweets. And yours are probably the most I've written down. I love that. So, and I only went through like a month. <laughs> so I'm going to just read some tweets that you've tweeted recently and you just give me your response, reaction, yeah. whatever you're feeling. Um, You tweeted, if I had $1 for every time I ate S in a yellow cab after the club, I'd have $3. Yeah. Now, are all these tweets true or fake? 100%. I don't, I don't lie. I liked because I believe I always live in character. So after the club, three o'clock, I mean, three times, S E N, that sounds like a lot. Yeah, but it's in like the cab that's like longer, like the van. The vans. Yeah. And I'm just like, they don't know. And have you ever gotten caught? N no, I have not got caught. No way. Never got caught. And one dollar was made this weekend. You This weekend? Yeah. Ooh, give me the rundown. What happened? I was really horny on the way back. And mm -hmm. then basically what happened was the guy wasn't paying attention. And then I just like, you know, pretend I'm laying on someone's lap. And then it just like, you get down in the lap even more. It gets Ooh. some warmed up. So when you're in the, when you get right back into the room, it's like ready. It's kind of like a fluffer. Yes. Yeah, so you're going knees on, on bottom of the cab. And then some sort of, I'm trying to figure out the way it would go. Of course. That's interesting. I don't think, I think the cab drivers sometimes notice, but they don't say anything. Yeah. It's New York city. Exactly. Well, Hey, whatever floats your boat. Yeah. I love it. Um, is it a red flag to eat ass on the first date? I did that on Thursday. How many dates a week do you go on? They're, they're not always dates. But like that Thursday was a date. Saturday was just a night out. <laughs> what, uh, where was the date Thursday? Um, basically, we like, you know, went to a little like uh, bar. I don't drink, but a little bar before we met. Mm. And then went back to his place. And then they like to just like hang out and like talk and have fun. First date? Yeah. Like I met him. You went right back to the house first date? Yeah. Is it, is it hard to get? Dre to go back to the apartment? Yeah. No, no, it definitely is. <laughs> it is? Yeah, you said it's the first day. I don't know. Uh, it is, no, uh, oh, honestly, that time, like, he was just so handsome. I was like, let's just go back. Like, we're having a vibe. Ooh. Let's play some music and, like, let me eat ass. So you got it on? Yeah, of course. Have you guys talked since? Yeah. Like, a lot? Or what? what's the deal here? A little bit. Like, we were, like, texting, and then, like, mm -hmm. I was supposed to see him Saturday, but I was eating ass in a yellow cab. Damn, what if he sees this? Definitely will. And then that would be sad. It's okay. You think he's the one? I hope. I hope they're all the ones sometimes. Do you think you yourself getting married? Oh, of course. I'll definitely be married one day. Soccer mom, white picket fence. Oh, yeah. All that jazz. I want to be like Stacy's mom. Oh, that'd be so nice. I've always thought about that. Where do you think you want to settle down? 
Mm, I don't want to settle down just yet. I have too much fun, but definitely like maybe like in like four or five years. Where do you think? Do you think New York? Suburbs? Oh yeah, definitely. I kind of want to be like in like maybe like I love like um Fairfield County or maybe even Ooh. like Westchester. Fairfield County. I want to find a handsome man in Greenwich. Yeah, Granite. That's Stanford. All all that jazz. Yeah. Hopefully they like me over there, but I. Ho- <laughs> I'm sure they will. Who wouldn't love you? <laughs> um, sex with a tall, handsome man would definitely cure me right now. Yeah. Do any short guys ever get any play or it's just yeah. tall guys? No, or honestly. It's just, or it's just the talls. Oh, honestly, the last guy I dated, like probably like over like a month ago, we were together for like, like a month and a half. He was like three inches shorter than me and it, it changed my mind. Yeah, you were kind of tall when you walked in. I was a little, I was a little intimidated. Yeah. Yeah. This, um, and I was really surprised. Like, it was like the first time, like, it was like a shorter guy and I loved it. I didn't think anything of it. Good. When you're on your knees, height doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. It's what they call an Amazonian woman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think one of my porn films is called that. Oh, really? Yeah. What's your favorite porn film title that you've done? Um, it's like my Bang Bus one. It, it just oh, it just it. was like like Dre Delavine found on the road. Oh, you were on Bang Bus? Yeah. How does Bang Bus work? Give me the rundown. Basically, like you know, they have uh, they have me go for a walk on the street, mm-hmm. and then like they do a little U turn, and then um. It's, it's gonzo. So actually, gonzo means like there's no script with it. It's like just goes with the flow. But it's actually a van that drives around in Miami. Mm-hmm. And they pick me up on the side of the road. And like you just go like crazy in there. And you obviously agreed to it before. Oh, of course. Of course. It's, yeah. not, it's not authentic. We're like, oh, hey, hey, Larry, you want to come on the bang bus? You agree to that before? Yeah. They pick you up. You get on the bang bus. Yeah, now, who's the dude on the bang bus? Um, There's about three people that are on the bus filming it. There's like a driver. And then. There's like one in the front and one in the back. Mm-hmm. And then um, my talent, um, his name was Sheem the Dream. I think yes. And uh, it was amazing. Interesting. And it's, I love the bang bus because you actually drive through traffic. So uh, since I'm like an exhibitionist, I like like a crowd. I'm like, this is like a bigger crowd. Today. Oh, the bang bus isn't parked? Oh, no. Literally, like it's in, like we also have to bring like our license with us in case like we get pulled over. Whoa exactly that's mind-blowing that the bang bus isn't parked oh no that that's why it's even like i think that's why i love that film so much because i had to go like it was i'm really athletic and i had to like really use my skills because i'm like fucking and like it's driving at the same time they have like 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 ropes kind of like to hold on like you know stop stopping at lights maybe some maybe someone stopped short oh yeah you, like, know, you have to speed up yeah make a right turn make a left turn and uh, you don't know where it's going God forbid, there's a u-turn <laughs> exactly or if you hit like a bump Oh, that could return bad for the fella. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm on top for that. For the fella, that or not. I was thinking something else. I a know. bump would be bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for getting my sexual innuendo joke. I didn't know if you could pull that off. <laughs> um, oh wait, never mind. I just, I basically just asked that without even knowing the next question. I think I want to settle down and find a BF before not with a 9 p.m. bend time. Just kidding. I want a bender boyfriend. Yeah. What's a bender boyfriend? Just like a dude you're gonna bang for 10 days on a on a bender. Yeah, like some. I think I woke up like after a bender, and I said I want a nine p.m. boyfriend, and then I was like, I'm gonna continue this bender, and I need a pal with me. I want someone that likes to have just as much fun with me. Sure, that's the whole point of being in love is having fun, right? Exactly. Um, why the fuck does Raya never accept me? I have like twelve referrals too. I check every day. Every day. I never get accepted. Make make a plea to Raya, and we'll post it. (laughs) Raya, please. Wait, did I say it right? I think it's Raya or Raya. I don't know. I was like, that's probably why I'm already that already not in it raya please accept me i want to go on there so badly i think i'd be really good for your app i would love to meet the men on there yeah i, I applied to be on it in like 2016 i don't know why it was like right when i got hired here i was like fuck it i'm gonna try again on this app i'm still on the wait list i mean gra- granted i don't think i'm raya material no yes you Resp- are i'm definitely not I've, I've seen some people's apps i could compete with some of the dudes on there they're just fucking like dork artists from brooklyn so i could maybe be on there but i'm Coming to terms, I'll never be on it. And I don't really want to be on it, so whatever. I'm willing to get on my knees and beg Raya to get on it. Ooh, that's an that's a official plea to Raya. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Um, Love that my tongue is so sore from eating pussy for almost two hours last night. Yeah. True story? Two weeks ago. Threesome with a couple. Damn, that's a lot of twos. Two weeks ago, two hours. I know. Threesome with a couple. How'd you meet them? Um, They saw me when I was like out. <laughs> And then they were like, the next, they're like, would you like to like come to dinner with us the next night? And I was like, sure. Like, when, she was a beautiful woman. And um, the husband is, uh, was very tall and handsome. And I was like, I, I'm very uh, open minded. Why not? And I kind of, I kind of like the situation. And uh, basically, I honestly ate her pussy more than like did anything with him the whole time. And I had so much fun. That's pretty rock and roll. 
Yeah, and I ate her ass too. That's pretty sweet. And what's he doing during this? Is he just he, he kind of rotated from the hotel chair to um, mm. the bed. He, he was walking out, maybe doing a little jerk. Yeah, he was. Um, he was. He was really nice. He basically. He basically said that his uh, wife always like wanted to experience like a girl, and mm. they thought I'd be um, a good fit for it because I was open minded. And yeah, it was amazing. What was the moment that you knew they were looking for a threesome? Um, when I when I figured they both approached me at the same time, and they said dinner tomorrow. I was like, mm, they, they definitely just don't want to be like friends. They might bring me on vacation with them in a few weeks too. Really? Yeah, to a swinger resort. Where in Mexico? That sounds pretty sweet. I oh my god, I'm so excited. Basically, like I'll orchestrate threesomes for them. Like if they need like a little, because they said they had trouble last time they went. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, we're too shy. I'm like, oh, I'll come out. I'll do it for you guys. So and then yeah. So you're just gonna go with them and be their basically threesome pimp. Y yeah, exactly. And then I could do stuff on my own too, or in like, or you know, it's kind of like really like open minded stuff. Oh, that sounds like a dream. I love just like helping people like fulfill their fantasies. Are they gonna throw you some cash on the side too? Yeah. What a fucking week you're about to have. Oh, my God. I know. It's, like, amazing. I'm, I'm, I want to I want to be a pimp at a swinger resort. I, I know exactly. I'm, like, a nanny for a couple. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, that's you're you're their like, <clears throat> horny whisperer, Exactly. I I'm so excited. I really wow. hope they bring me. <laughs> how, many, how many days are you thinking? They said it would be, like, about three to four days. So if it'll be four days, like, to make them happy, you got to get them at least two threesomes. Oh, of course. You think you could do it? Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. I like I have a good uh, way of orchestrating them. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I would love to hear an update when you return. Totally. That sounds fun. I'll probably tweet about it. Please do. <laughs> but um, God, you seem you seem like you'd be a good wing woman. Yes. Is that your thing? Definitely. I love to do that. I feel like it's like uh, I feel like the best part about like um like sex and like things like that is like the before part. So I'm very like I love dirty talking. I love flirting. So definitely, good wing woman. Uh, I hate condoms. They smell like AutoZone. <laughs> so true what is autozone autozone is like a tire shop and like they sell like car stuff there and i swear like going if you go blindfolded into autozone it's gonna smell like a trojan mm -hmm. condom get in the zone autozone yeah yeah i mean would i would i kind of would this be crazy to say that condoms and tires are made from the same material wow would it be crazy to say that like some sort of like the, the very beginnings of their process. That's actually I, that's really that really does open my mind. I really feel like that's like. Would you, would you maybe? I mean, I think it's. I know they look I think very the different. Same, the same. No, but it's, I know what you're talking about. Like, kind of like the same. It'd be like in the same category of like material. Yeah, they're both. They could both kind of stretch them, like poke at them. Wow, that makes so much sense. Maybe there, maybe there is a thing like that. I don't have to Google tire condom. No texture. I honestly like that's actually really that's a really like smart connection you just made. That Not just the hat sense. rack, my friend. I love it. Not that dumb. Um, I need to shake my ass on an elevated surface ASAP. Yeah. What's the thing with chicks and elevated surfaces? Well, how come if you're here and I'm here, you think you're so much better than me? I don't think I'm better than you. I just think I'm Hannah Montana. And I'm like the center of attention. If you're on, if you're on that much more of an elevated surface, I just like when they like, just love it. Yeah. It's just like, it's, it's, it's just more fun. And you can like see like, you can see the cute boys. An interesting thing for you too. You don't drink, so it's not even like you're enjoying the bottle service. You, you, oh, no. you just, you just start to want to be on the elevated surface. I'm like the cheapest person to ever bring out. It costs zero dollars. Zero. If I ever see you out and you were up here and I'm down here, you'd probably spit at me from your elevated surface. No, I blow you a kiss. No, no, no. From your elevated surface. Love I love elevated, elevated surface. You ever walk into a club and they don't have, and the tables aren't elevated? How dumb is that? I, it, it makes it hard. well thank god i'm tall but it makes it awkward i'm like i don't know what to do with myself yeah i gotta be in the booth popping in the cuck chair yeah popping in the cuck chair <laughs> um this guy started texting me yesterday within 24 hours he sent me his amex and made me his phone background this is my new standard for men yeah did that happen yeah and he was supposed to invite me to la for Memorial day weekend and then he uninvited me because <laughs> he bought me a plate and everything because of i go out and like i don't act appropriate when i'm out he said he said he thought the butt plug when I was out was like insane. That scumbag. Did you ever see this meet, meet this guy in person? No. Oh, he was like, he just, it, it, it was like, he was like a cutie that DM me on Instagram and I'm open minded. And I was mm -hmm. like, why not? And he sent you the Amex. Immediately. Did you, did you buy anything with it? Anything no, good? I bought the flight with it. Oh, I thought he would just like buy whatever you want. He did let me buy some card. clothes for the trip. That's nice. Yeah, so I, I bought all these clothes for the trip and then he, and, and the flight and he canceled it. He's like, yeah, like I don't want a girl like that. I was like, well, I don't want a boy that doesn't want me to wear a butt plug when I'm out. Scumbag. Not the one. Who does he think he is? I know. It was a huge red flag. 
I think it's a big red flag too, personally. I think you made a good call. Thank you. What'd you do in New York Memorial Day instead? <laughs> what did I do in New York? Well, I was with Joey actually one night. That's when we were texting. Yes, yes, yes. And then the I went to Brooklyn and uh for like a day party and I shook my ass on an elevated surface literally for six hours. If if you saw like my uh, phone, it showed like how much like I danced and moved around. It was like insane. I did like six miles worth of dancing. What's the best music to shake your ass to? So I I like songs I can also like sing along to like, but I also like house music. But I love like throwback songs like um, if you play like some like, like Taylor Forty Sw Barn. Yeah 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 like that stuff like yeah any anytime anything that I can like sing along and like have fun to and be in character. Damn, well, I'm happy um you got to enjoy a good Memorial Day weekend. Oh yeah, he's the best. You you just said you're out you're out on him. What'd you say? You just said you're out on him. I'm out. You said, oh yeah, he's the best. I was like, you just said we're out on him. He didn't bring it in Memorial Day weekend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I literally have a bruise on my pussy from using my vibrator so much when I got home last night. Yeah. That too? That happens a lot. All these things happen. Yeah. Honestly, I can only have like this one vibrator because it, I, if I use my, my main one too much, I'd like cut, I cut the cord on it a few months ago. It, it was just insane. I use uh, it way too overused. much. Overused. So that's why I get bruised sometimes from this other one. How often do you get a new vibrator? Mm, like every like one to two months. How often are you using a vibrator? Every day? I masturbate at least like five to six times a day. Five to six a day? And I mean that like honestly with like. I'm a dude that enjoys masturbating, but five to six a day, that's a lot. At least, at least like three are for work. That's true. And then like, you know, you wake up. We all do. And then like. Got to get one in. Got to get one in before bed. Got to get one in midday. Exactly. And you're self-employed. Yeah. So I pick my schedule. You know, my little lunch break. <laughs> um, A few back shots. Never heard of friendship. Yeah. So are you, you think you could do, be have platonic friends and just do the sex? Oh, of course. Oh, I, I definitely have fucked like majority of my guy friends. Oh, that's nice. It's, I feel like that's like how the friendship kind of starts. And like once you fuck them right, like right away, like it kind of makes it like. You know, because then it's like not as like there's no sexual tension in the friendship. Like it's done and over with. Mm -hmm. I have like a like like a friend fetish, like or homie hopper kink. Oh, really? Oh, totally. And I realize it's because like I, if I like like one guy, like his friends are usually similar mm -hmm. to them. So then I'm like, ooh. Oh, wow. That's an interesting thought process. Yeah. So do you um, you would just say you meet a guy, you like a guy. You're immediately going to try to go with his friends. Or you're sticking to him first. Then you're going friends once you're done with him. I try. I'm, 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 I always say like I respect like the command, the, like the like the commander, and like the the head of the friend group. Yeah, like so whoever I come first with, I'm, I'm a loyal one. I'm a loyal girl. So like, but if we're out and like he, you know, he's like not he wants another girl, and I'm like, mm, your friend's cute. Ooh, even after you romance him. Yeah, I'm very like it's I, you trying to start some friend battles. I always say group activities are okay too, but like I also like you know I'm very I'm a porn star. That's my excuse. So actually, what do you expect? Actually, speaking of that, so how much sex do you think you're having off camera versus on camera? Um, well, I film like a lot of like, um, like my, all my amateur stuff, like with like actually my hookups that I do. Mm -hmm. So I'd say a lot sometimes could be on camera, but I would say definitely lately a lot off camera. Okay. I need to be inspired. I love like showing what I learned like at work. Oh yeah, because I was about to say, you don't seem like one of those porn stars that is, this, I mean, this respectfully. That's like, oh, I, I never have sex off camera. You seem like you're, you're having a good time off camera. No, yeah, I have a great time See, off like camera. See, like you're popping off on camera. Oh, yeah, I love it. Um, that is interesting, though. I think the next thing I have written down ties into that, actually. It says, I really need some stunt cock this week to help me film. Yeah. So when you're out roaming around with these fellows in New York, do you ask them to film? How does that work? Like, if you're at a bar and maybe they're a little drunk and you're sober, mm -hmm. do you hit them with, oh, we could go back and get it on right now but i gotta film it yeah exactly i usually even have like a little like um camera in my bag like a lighting camera in my bag mm -hmm. just like clip on yeah and i just kind of say that because it's also always pov i have them you know like sign even like a little waiver so i don't get in trouble you know like really? yeah because i do everything very professionally and i just am like do you mind and they love it it's I'd, like their little goodie bag i would assume it's hitting at a 100 percent success rate yeah for sure yeah and they get intimidated but i'm like don't like i'm like i like it authentic so if like there's nothing to worry about. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So it's literally just iPhone. They're mm -hmm. filming here after a night out, and that's it. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. I have like really, I meet really nice men. That must be so much fun to wake up the next day and be like, oh shit, I was fucking filming an OnlyFans video last night. Yes. I love it. It's like, it, it's like I kill two birds with one stone. I get to have fun and I make money. You know what they say? Work and pleasure. Yes. Exactly. How about that? Um, interesting. 
Um, throwback to when I used to fuck a deaf man and moaned by humming because that was the only way he heard me. It was so hot. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, I loved that man. <clears throat> What's he up to now? Honestly, like I hit him up like two months ago and like he didn't answer me. And it, uh, it was funny, but he was, he was a cutie pie. Um, I met him, honestly, because uh, we went to the same rehab Okay. For, for drinking. And it was- uh, Sounds nice. No, yeah. And I loved it. He was like this like 40-year-old deaf man. And he told me like at, um, when we were out one night, he's like, I never have heard when I was having sex before. And I was like, I felt so bad. And I was like, that was my goal. I kind of like felt like the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm like, I'm going to make this man here. That does sound nice. Yeah. So um, what's the process? So you, he, was, he was humming? No. So basically, I realized that since he couldn't hear my voice, he could hear vibrations. Though. Like, So if the oh. phone was vibrating, he would hear it. So then one day I put it together. I was like, you know what? Like, if mm. I, like, if I, mm-hmm. So, like, I'm, like, literally bent over, like, mm, mm. The man had tears in his eyes. That's so nice. No, it was. And I loved him. He was, like, such a great, he's such a great fuck and such a great man. Wow, that makes, that, that makes me happy. I know. And I want to hum so badly uh, again, but he, he didn't hit me up again. He didn't hit you up again? I know. That's got to be a tough pull to swallow. It's got to humble. I, I That's got to be a tough pull to swallow. It definitely humbled me. Um, wow. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that to be the term. I know, I know. I think he like settled down for a little crazy girl for him. Um, I'm excited about this too, because this is a t- hot topic button issue of ladies. Um, love bombing gets my pussy so wet. Oh. What is love bombing? What's the idea of it? I see girls complaining about it all the time. Fill me in on what love bombing is. Love bombing is basically like when you really like, when you meet someone, like you immediately think they're like the love of your life or like, you're just, they're just like, you know. They're just obsessed with you. They think you're the best thing since sliced bread. And I do it. To- I mirror it back. I love it. I love just pretending you're in love like right away. Like mm-hmm. let's let's not like play hard. Like don't not play hard to get with each other. Let's just like instantly fall in love and like have so much fun. And I if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I kind of dig that. Yeah. I like that. So that, that's the definition of love bombing. I think girls are mostly complaining about it though when I see it. Yeah, I think it's because like they're just like, oh, like he led me on, da 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 da. But I'm like, you know what? Like, I realize like all men are kind of the same, and yeah, I'm what, what I'm all about like having fun, and like I'm like a little, I'm like a, I'm, I'm a dog, I feel like, but I'm a love a girl. Roof, roof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you got uh, the dog in you, dog. I definitely do, <laughs> and uh, but I'm like a lo- lover girl too. So I just play into it. I'm just like whatever, you know. Some things work out, some things don't, and I'm not like a complainer when it comes to that stuff. And I, and I love on them back, so it's, I can't really get that hurt. Good attitude to have. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, Dre, I think we could kind of wrap this up. You got any questions you want to ask me before we wrap this up? You going to subscribe to my OnlyFans? Probably not. I don't really subscribe to anyone's OnlyFans. Oh, that's okay. I mean, I subscribe to people's OnlyFans, but. No, yeah. I don't subscribe to guests' OnlyFans. Of course. I, I actually didn't even look at your OnlyFans there. I think my Twitter's probably I enough. Looked at, I looked at only Twitter, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, because I, I, I've seen you post recently like, a lot of tweets from your Twitter. And I, I just find tweets, and that's basically it amazing anything else this was fun no this is the best day ever thank you for having me i think it was the best day ever too great great way to cure the mondays of course and have a nice little chat about deaf guys i love that yeah all right well hi i'll see you around yes thanks for having me oh thank you for coming oh you want to like me shout out your only fans or anything of course my only fans is a jury baby girl and i hope you subscribe by the way one more thing i know it sounds good dre delavine what a what a hard last name to spell Oh, totally. It's got to be very hard to find on OnlyFans. But I know you just said Dre Baby Girl. It's way easier. Totally, yep. Yep, totally. I can tell <laughs> when you know what to say. You just say totally a lot. I definitely do. <laughs> totally.